Hello and welcome to Dubai This Week. We are joined today by Noor Al-Tamimi, a serial entrepreneur, founder of Bedashing, and a member of Abu Dhabi Chamber of Commerce. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here today. So, Noor, it's been an interesting two plus years for you. You sold Bedashing in 2020. You joined the Abu Dhabi Chamber of Commerce. How are you feeling? Ah, great. <laughs> New chapter of my life. Uh, after decades of working so hard, of raising kids, of running a business, I'm living the time of my life now. <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> living the dream. You sold Bedashing seconds before lockdown, from what I understand. Tell us about the journey. I know you founded it with your sisters, and what led you to decide to sell? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, we founded uh, the company in 2008, my sisters and I. And uh, after like uh, the first year, I realized that this is going so well and um, we have a big future and we, we should expand uh, in, in a big way. This is not just a salon, it is something, it's going to be part of a big uh, company. So I met with my sisters and we discussed very early on fr from founding the business that we will sell it once it hits a certain valuation. And we all agreed on that from the first branch. No matter what. No matter, no matter what. how much you're enjoying, no how well asked, the company is doing, we you're sell. selling. Because we wanted to preserve our relationship as sisters and we wanted to stay a close-knit family and Yes, it's possible with a family business, but definitely it's there We will f face a lot of challenges and our relationship comes first. You were CEO for a long time yes. And you said it can get very lonely up there. <laughs> yes, that's true Yeah, being um, now when we started uh, the company it was like four people, five people, and then it started growing, 30, 50, hundreds of people. And every while, uh, every, every uh, size uh, that my company was uh, in, I had to evolve as a person before evolving even as a leader. And I would always face this new kind of challenges depending on the size of my company. And that, uh, those challenges, you know, you're, you're, when you're on, on the top of your company and on the top of your organization, you're always expected to have all the answers. You're always expected to solve all the issues. And it gets lonely up there. I think this is something that people don't talk a lot about. So who would you seek advice from? Um, I did. I was lucky to realize this um, early on uh, during my running my venture, and I did have those great people around me that did nurture me, that mentored me. So I would have someone, for example, in finance, who's 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 a strong person in finance and who enjoyed mentoring me from a financial point of view. And I had a legal mentor who always, you know, look at looked at things from a legal point uh, point of view and gave me his perspective. I had that as well in marketing. I had that in various uh, fields and. Um, um, it definitely helped me uh, overcome a lot of challenges that I faced. I can't be a person who knows it all. I can be very good in, in a certain area. I think my strength is definitely strategy. Uh, I believe I do understand where the future is going in my industry and I can live it from now and prepare my company for that from now. But there are fields which I need help in. I need help in logistics. Um, and such. So I would always have someone strong in that field and that person would uh, be my confidant, will be uh, my source of inspiration or, or this person will help me, uh, guide me, even just giving me a name of, a, of another person that can guide me solve a certain issue in that, in that field. So what would you say is the most important lesson as CEO running, bedashing for so many years and then selling? What's your biggest takeaway? Now, uh, me as, as Noor, um, I was like, a, 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 like running the company and living my life towards uh, that goal that I had in mind. Uh, so I was in this tunnel view uh, uh, perspective of that goal. And that was how my life was you know revolved around that goal now 
what I learned is that I need to enjoy the journey towards reaching that goal. So this is what I will do now. That's why what I learned from that great adventure that I went through. And um, this is what I'm going to do next. Enjoy the journey more than the destination. And any chance you'll work again with your sisters? Well, I don't see a reason why we can't work together as sisters. We did, we did, we started something great together as a, as a sister. We're a great team together. I would uh, prefer now to do something on my own. I would, I would prefer. I might not even have a partner uh, in this uh, in this coming venture. Let's see. Noor El Tamimi, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for this invitation. I truly enjoyed this. Thank you. Me too.